Welcome everyone. In this video, we will learn how to install Ubuntu 20.04 LTS using VMware. So in this, what you can see is that uh, yesterday Ubuntu has launched its version that is 20.04 and uh, we'll be installing that. The code name of the will uh, code name of 20.04 is Focal Fossa and uh, you can download it from the website that is ubuntu.com also i'll share the uh, download link in the description for that i'll be using vmware and uh, if you don't have the vmware you can install it i'll paste that in the description also you can use virtualbox both serve the same purpose and to download you can visit this uh, website that is uh, uh, ubuntu slash downloads uh, once you click on that it will redirect you to something uh, another page and click on ubuntu desktop it will re redirect you to this page and from this page you can download the iso file so what we need to install uh, ubuntu 20.04 is we need 2 gigahertz of uh, or more than that a dual core processor we have in a more more than that i am using ryzen 5 and the minimum requirement of the memory is 4 GB of memory. I have 16 GB, that will not be a problem. And uh, 25 GB of internal free space. So I prefer giving 40 GB of space. Uh, so yes, that's that being said. And let's uh, move from here now uh, to installing the Ubuntu using VMware. So once you open VMware, you have certain option. Click on create a new instance and navigate your ISO file and it has automatically detected. After that, give your full name, which will be used as your device name. You can give the username as well as the password out of, of your choice. And uh, once it's done, uh, click on next. Give a name of your virtual machine. For me, I'll be giving 20, Ubuntu 20.04 and uh, give the location where you want to keep it so i have done it click next here as i said i prefer having 40 gb and into a single file of virtual disk as you can see we uh, uh, it is automatically detected as 2 gb of memory uh, click on customize hardware and select 4 gb as i have done it here click finish it will automatically uh, start asking following things so once it's done, uh, it will take you to journey. I have fast forwarded it here so that you can see it takes around something 20, 10 to 15 minutes depending on your uh, hard disk, which hard disk you are using. If, it, if you are using SSD, most probably it will be taking less than that. So once it's done, it will automatically give you a login screen. And the one thing to note here is that they it it asks the name of the pc is ubuntu by default and once you sign in you will be able to log in easily what you have given in the while filling the like putting the username and the password in the virtual vmware folder uh, vmware window once it's done it asks you to connect your online accounts uh, the best part of VMware is that uh, you does not need anything, any software to make it a full screen. That is good. That is why I use VMware. So um, here it says that connect your online account. I most probably I, I, I am skipping this and uh, don't want to connect that because if you don't connect, you won't be able to use one, one of the best feature of uh, Ubuntu 20.04 that is live patch uh, which asks you uh, like which helps you to uh, update the kernel without restarting the system that is the best part of Ubuntu what I like so if you have your Ubuntu, Ubuntu account uh, uh, please create one if you don't have 
and sign in as per requirement so as you can see uh, this is the screen what you see after login and it gives you a live patch what i've been talking about this gives you a a server which does not like uh, lets you it does not allow, like it updates the patches without having it so once you try to do it uh, it will ask you to authenticate and uh, since i said earlier you need an ubuntu one account for that so please create that i am skipping the, this for this video let's see next what we have we have uh, other things you can pass it along it has privacy by default you can set it up also uh, there are ready to go applications you can have it here is that sublime text and obs slack visual code studio and lots and lots of codes uh, lots and lots of applications are you can install it the favorite of me is having uh, f uh like apps like riot which is new 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 of the uh, uh, chat system which we use uh, as a mozilla uh, representative i use riot and that comes uh, in the application section of the ubuntu so let's click on uh, terminal i like this is the first thing i do when i install any ubuntu i have my terminal open so that it it takes all the updates if there is any so let us see which kernel it is using and what's the code name of uh, ubuntu we have so for this i'll type u name so it sorry u name hyphen a so it, it will give you the Linux uh, details. So it runs with the latest uh, 5.4 kernel of the uh, Linux. So yes, and the other thing what we, you can see is that the background has changed. It, it represents the focal fossa. Also, what you can see is that the folder icon has changed and the color of the folder has changed from uh, previous versions and it has a gradient color with a purple and orange in it so this is what you get and the uh, other thing to note is that note is that you in ubuntu 20.04 you have three options to change the theme one would be the standard one another would be the light one another one would be the dark one so go to the settings and appearance and click dark this is what most of the developers would be loving the black or the dark theme of uh, ubuntu i'm definitely going to use dark theme and uh, once it's done please let's update our system uh, sudo apt apt update put the password so it will take the latest updates what might have up, like within few, one day whatever software has been updated it will take that so we can see two package need be upgraded so a pseudo apt upgrade and uh, with this uh, we will be having all the updated softwares what we require once we launch the ubuntu 20.04 So yes, uh, once it's done, let's let's see how the Ubuntu software from where you can click it without going into the terminal. But I don't prefer uh, installing apps from application store. As you can say, it takes lot lot of time to install an application through uh, application center. So I prefer having it installed through using uh, Ubuntu. Sorry, using terminal so once it's done you can see a lot many applications are there so one thing to note is that uh, in ubuntu it's very easy to get started with uh, installation of the ubuntu and it's sa the same goes with the installation on any of your system so that is it also as you have seen that it has automatically taken ubuntu as the system name so i'm going to change that first so it asks uh, this has taken the device name as ubuntu 
let me change to msa that is mohammad shabaz alam once you authenticate uh, it will ask you to authenticate once you click that so i have done that it has taken the msa so we are good to go and uh, here also the name um, of your username so i'll change here the best thing to note here is that once you click a change it will ask you to authenticate and unlock that once you do that it it will take your first character of the name uh, as the logo or the or the picture which is what uh, most like web web thing it is as you can see here uh, it has taken s as a logo of the or the display picture of my account so this is cool uh, i really like this uh, as a developer we use this method to, uh, to configure someone's profile pic if he does he, if a person does not have that so that is a good part another thing you can see is that it has the option to fingerprint uh, enable like uh, to log in with your fingerprint but i don't have the fingerprint so it is disabled by de by default so also lots of other uh, tools is available here in the settings itself not going deep down you can find it very easily so as you can see as i was talking about the riot you can see here uh, mozilla uses riot as their application to chat and communicate with the other people developers and the volunteers so yes i was talking about that it has slack in it and riot in it so this is it and uh, uh, this is how to get started with ubuntu and uh, stuff so that was it uh, my quick guide on how to install and before going ending this top um, this video let us see which version of firefox is shipped with ubuntu 20.04 so first installation takes time so you can see here uh, most probably it's 75 that is the latest firefox as of now uh, so you can see that by going to the settings like the, the hamburger menu click on that and go to the about and go to the like about firefox so yes uh, if you have any uh, suggestion if you have any doubt on if you have stuck anywhere feel free to reach out to me and see uh, i'll be ha happy to answer your question if you have stuck somewhere in installing uh, ubuntu on your vmware or your virtual box so as you can see it has 75 uh, version of the firefox that is it so with this video i hope you have liked what uh, i have been making to install ubuntu 20.04 on vmware so for more of this video please like and share and subscribe my channel and that is it for my video i hope you have liked this video thank you